what's up guys welcome to a brand new video in today's video we're going to be learning how to upload your code from vs code directly to github under five minutes now, i made a video about um concerning this topic and i made a mistake while editing the video and this video got a lot of hate now usually um i don't like creating content getting a lot of hate and because i know um, I made a mistake in this video. I will be taking the video down. So that being said, I do apologize for uploading um, a video with the wrong information. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be covering everything. No mistakes, no errors in the edits and all. And I'll be showing you this picture of a cute cat just to um, show sincere apologies. And uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe, turn on um, post notifications, drop a like on this video. Without further ado, let's jump right onto VS Code. So now the first thing you have to do is to create a github account and if you don't have a github account you can simply go over to github.com and you can sign up click on this button right here so you're going to sign up so me I already signed up i already have my account so if you're just creating a github account this page might be empty just because you haven't uploaded any repositories yet so to create to create a new repository all you need to do is to select this tab right here and it will lead you over to um, repositories and I'm going to create a new repository here. So click on this button right here. And next thing we have to do is to give this repository a name. So I'm just going to say um, YouTube Tester. So now you can give this repository any name, probably the name of your project. You can also add a description right here. And you also have the um, choice to make it private or public. Uh, if these are personal folders, you can make it private. But if you would like people to work on your code also, to um, make any um, adjustment to your code and share your code with everybody, you can create public. So for the sake of this tutorial, so you can check out um, the um, the github repo to see if it truly works. I'm going to leave this as public. So now the next thing we have to do is to create a repository. So now the next thing we have to do is to copy this link right here. So you just click on copy. Now we're going to be copying this link because we're going to be using it later on in this tutorial. So that has been done. Now let's create a new folder right here. And I'm just going to make this, let's say tester. So I'm creating everything from scratch. And now that we've created the folder, we can simply open with VS Code. Okay, so we've opened the folder. Next thing we want to do is to create, um, let's say an index.html file, just to have something to push. And you can also create your style.css also. So I'm going to create that also. So let's say style.css. Okay, so let's just create a boilerplate for this. Click enter and let's say this is a test. So save this also and let's just link the CSS style CSS. So save. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is to um, add we want to initialize the repository so click initialize repository right here we'll go over to this button source control and click initialize repository so this should initialize what we want to do so you can see um this zero right here so you can see this u means we haven't um done anything yet this hasn't been pushed so to push this over to GitHub, we simply have to commit and push. Now this U stands for uncheck. So to commit, we simply have to type in init and click on this check mark right here. Okay, so now it has been the next thing we want to do is click on view and select command palette. And now I'm going to click add repository add remote rather so now remember we have um the link from github right here so we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it right here where it says provide url so we're going to provide this url click enter and we're going to give this a remote name let's say tester okay so click enter 
so now now that that's done we're just going to select no so you have two options you can decide to push from here or what i simply like to do you can decide to push from here which i did in the last video so i'm going to click on this right here and it's going to push this code for us and we're going to see it over on our github repo so that has been done now if you go over to github and refresh the page you should see that we already have um the code pushed over to github so you can see we have the code pushed over to github successfully and when you click on this you'd see that it's the exact code that we have so yeah that's basically it we've successfully pushed um the code to github and you can see the url right here it has um the name that we gave you which was youtube tester so that's basically how to successfully push um your code over from github from um vs code rather to github so if you did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like subscribe and um sorry for the old tutorial that's why i um took the video down so yeah that'll be all for this video guys till next time thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you